went down to uh, Newport with samples, Brian and, and myself. And, you know, we had a very warm relationship with Jeff Steibel, who uh, was partners with Brian, uh, Kobe Bryant in a fund called Brian Steibel. And we got around a table like this size and, um, you know, all the little vials of fragrances and samples in little jars are on the table and we've got a little presentation. It's all printed out. And, you know, Kobe comes into the room and he's just, you know, he was just an, an awe-inspiring figure. I mean, just mm. incredibly charming, very handsome, very smart, very, I mean, obviously a, a monster athlete, a legend. He was, you know, they, they were coming off of a great period, a great, you know, an intensive period with body armor. And again, he was you know, very clear, very aware of how do you build a brand that's authentic and deliberate and with real values and how do you make really good products and also aware of, hey, I'm not, I'm not here to hold up a deodorant stick. Like that's not what I'm here for. I'm mm -hmm. here to build a business with you guys, right? So he was feeling us out, you know? And, yeah. and we were essentially saying, look, we're, we're not looking for you to be the spokesperson for a deodorant business. We want you to be a co-founder with us. And this was right at the stage where we had felt like all of those samples were ready to actually be tested after multiple iterations. And so he had an opportunity to help select fragrances. He asked for a ton of samples, which put huge pressure on our labs because sure. it was like, I want 200 of these. And it was like, who are you, who are you giving yeah. these things to? Yeah. And I guess he gave it to a bunch of his friends and he tried it every day. And, and that was the juncture at which point there was still so much to be shaped. And that was the, that was the messy period he loved to get involved with. So uh, it was right at the beginning. I mean, it was, you know, it was a couple months down the trail where we had something that we could talk about in detail. That's know? pretty cool. Is he always hands-on with his investments or was this one of these? Yeah. It depends. I yeah. think, I think the things that he, he, he was in a place of course, where he, he had more bandwidth, but everyone wanted something from him. Right. And he had to be very deliberate about, Hey, look, I'm, I'm kind of on top of the world. I've had this amazing career. I've got, you know, all these years ahead of me. Sure. And I only want to do things that really matter that I care about. And he actually cared about skincare a lot. And he didn't want to have a, just a, a sort of a Nike clone. He didn't want it to just be another body armor thing. Like he wanted to find ways that this could be different and exciting and unique and original. And so that was, that spoke to him. And so part of, I think what made him so excited was this notion that, Hey, we're going to meet up on a regular basis. We're going to, we're going to show you things. We're going to show you things in design. We showed him prototypes for industrial packaging, you know, ideas that we had. Yeah different fragrances, different color schemes, different names. He named all the products. Like he was, he was in the thick of it with us, you know? Wow. So yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a great, great partnership to start with. And, and he encouraged us to really kind of supercharge the bringing the athlete consortium around us. We have a, a stable of six other amazing athletes. And so that was his, one of his imparting messages was, look, I'm, I'm one opinion, right? but you need a, you need a cross section of the athlete community of this country, because that should represent your that they, right. they should have voices in your business, right? And from the athlete side, are you guys doing equity plays? Is it, is it, yes, yeah, it's equity ownership. Play. In some it's cases, not partnership. yeah, okay. in some cases it's part partnerships in that, in that vein where, you know, with James, it's again, it's like, we're never going to be able to pay him what Adidas pays him. Right? Sure. Yeah. Um, I think it's like hundred, some 200 million, something <laughs> crazy. Right. Yeah. And so from him, for him as, from his perspective, it's like, look, I, I'd much rather have upside in building something with you guys. Yeah. And then of course the trade-off is like, okay, well don't expect a really expensive catering spread when you come to the photo shoot. Like it's going to be you and me and I'm going to be putting a, you know, a curtain up behind you and I'm going to be <laughs> prodding you to say certain things from the camera and, 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 and you know, That's it's going to be an eight, eight hour production day. And he was totally game to do it, which is amazing. You know, speaking to them in a way was like, Hey, look, we're not just here because you're an athlete. We're here because you want to be a businessman and you right. want to commit your time to building things and making things that matter and creating cool content. And you know, you're on, you're doing amazing media things. In the case of Juju, he's a media entity. Mm. He's got a million YouTube subscribers who watch him wow. play video games with Drake and Travis Scott. Like That's he, that's awesome. He's a big Fortnite guy, you know, yeah. and I think he's in FaZe Clan. So he's almost got a bigger following in his e-gaming community than he does in football. And he thinks of himself. That's really that intelligent. Actually. Incredibly smart. Yeah. Incredibly smart. He's a machine from a content perspective. I think he's the second most recognizable football player in the league now. Wow. He's 22 years old. So that's the kind of conversations we have with our athletes as well. It's like, hey, you know we recognize you you're committed to your craft and your sport right but we want to engage you in a way where you can be on this journey with us and we'll give you a front row seat and you can affect as much as you want to affect because we're a small company hey everyone thanks for checking out that clip if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button down below and if you're interested in hearing the full episode it's out right now on our youtube channel we've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future so hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode 
And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.